China says it will use military to take Taiwan. A Chinese general has warned that Beijing will not rule out the use of force to take control of Taiwan, as the Chinese Communist Party closed its annual National People's Congress in Beijing. General Li Zhuocheng, the chief of the Joint Staff Department and member of the Central Military Commission, said Friday that while peaceful diplomacy is preferred, China will consider using force to establish control over Taipei as part of its One China policy. Taiwan, officially called the Republic of China Rock, sits 80 miles from the Chinese coast across the Taiwan Strait. It has been independent for more than 70 years, having emerged from the last bastion of the nationalist forces that lost the Chinese Civil War to the CCP. It became the ROC capital in 1949. China does not consider Taiwan to be an independent nation and has repeatedly vowed to bring the island under its control. Taiwan is currently led by President Tsai Ing-wen, elected for a second term in January, who heads the Liberal and Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party. Beijing considers Tsai a pro-independence politician, and has consistently warned her administration not to pursue any kind of separatism or face consequences. Li Zhanshu, the head of the Chinese parliament and the third most senior CCP leader, also warned that Beijing would not rule out military force to retake Taiwan, though said peaceful means were preferred. The ramped-up Chinese rhetoric came as CCP lawmakers approved a new draft national security law for the semi-autonomous territory of Hong Kong, prompting protests in the former British colony and criticism from foreign governments. The Taiwanese government has already vowed to provide support for pro-independence activists in Hong Kong that fall foul of the Beijing-backed local government there. Subscribe now for up-to-date news and information. Don't be left in the dark. Be in the know. Subscribe now.